Look at this new hair. It looks so good. Wow. I was telling her for him how long to cut her hair. And now she finally did it and it looks so good. Yeah, do a 360 and turn. Watch ya. People in new look. <laughs> it looks so good. Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. So this vlog is gonna be a multiple day as usually I like doing my vlogs. Let me know down below if you guys like vlogs where it's in multiple days instead of one whole day and I'm dragging out the whole event or situation just to make a vlog. I don't like doing those things so I don't do a lot in one day. That's exciting for it to be a one whole vlog, right? Comment down below, like I said, let me know. And let's get into this vlog. Direction, give me direction. It's our God. So ladies, this is the real brand and friend today, you know what I mean? And we have a ring in the new year in town. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So we have a flock in the new year in the little town. New year, I want to be a Christmas. Why do you have a flock? Why do you have a flock? and a new gear and you don't know we don't really too care like that you know what I mean Hi guys, I'm about to go to a photo shoot because I have to do um, an Instagram picture with this headband wig that I've been wearing. I wanted to talk about something that just like came to my attention today and I feel like this is just important to talk about. The overall moral of this topic or short story I'm going to give you guys is all about like be careful what you consume on social media because if you watch like the wrong things, you'll start thinking that the wrong things are okay in this life or is all right and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. Sorry, you guys may know who I'm talking about if you watch YouTube a lot. I don't really care because there's a whole point of this whole entire story. So there's this girl on YouTube that like me, my sister, me and one of my younger sisters watch, right? So she found out earlier in the year that her husband was cheating on her. Like she literally had proof and everything. It was like a big huge thing. She has some children for the guy. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly because you guys will find out everything and I don't want drama but I have to analyze this. So and supposedly they like broke up and it was like all over social media. Fast forward later on into the year, like basically at the end of the year, a month ago, Anyways, I have to go somewhere else in my backyard because my mom's loud and she's coming outside. Hey, Jip. Fast forward to a recent video that she did. Sorry, the dog. Anyways, fast forward to now that I saw a video of her and she's doing the video, right? And in the video, I was like, okay, it's been like how many months since the incident because it happened like early in the year. Why is your wedding ring rings on, right? So I started searching the comment section <laughs> and no one brought it up. And I was like, I know I'm not the only one who knows her wedding ring. I was just like, whatever. She posted a recent video saying that how she's still with the guy and she's pregnant again from the same guy that was cheating on her. And then so my sister was like, oh my God, did you see everything? So I was like, what the B-clot? So I go on her page and I find out everything. I started thinking really hard because I was just like, no, no, no. This is actually very concerning and it's so messed up. I was like, so you find out this guy is cheating on you. And mind you, she she found out. So he could have cheated on her multiple times in the past, whatever. Everything happened. He tried fighting you. He threatened to beat you up and like whatever else he did. He probably did fight her because he, she said that she didn't want to share a lot of things. I understand. Like in the video when she's explaining all this, she's like, you know, it's my life and it doesn't really matter. I have to be happy, which is true. Like it's her life. If she wants to be with the cheater, for the rest of her life because he's a cheater and he'll continue and always be a cheater that you have to deal with that and it's not our life and i said that to my sister i'm like you know what this is effed up that she's back with him but it's her life if that makes her more comfortable she's talking the video and like i don't want to be rude or anything but she's just playing out weird because she was justifying his cheating on so many different reasons like her childhood and his childhood and they've been together for how many years and like so if someone makes a mistake um, it's okay because they've been together for such a long time which I'm gonna talk about and I was like yo what the hell and she kept on saying something about God she kept on using religion and God for the reason why she she and him should still be together after being married and I was just like yo this is actually messed up like, it's so weird how people can just use God and Christianity like you know like I walk in faith not in sight or something like that and I was just like what the Okay, so I started thinking, first of all, I thought her using God as an excuse for her getting back with the guy. You're just weird. I don't even care. I believe in God and everything like that, but I would never in my life use that as an excuse. And then she started talking about like um, childhood and how they should have had counseling before getting married. Like that's going to stop him from cheating. And like she was just using all these excuses. And I started thinking, I was like, wow, man, this is so sad. Like our minds are so powerful. Our minds will tell us that we're, we don't value to move on from a cheater and get a new guy because 
we had children with them or we known them for so long or they made a mistake cheating is not a mistake like it's just so annoying and the thing that got me blown out of my mind was all these girls in the comments saying you know like it's okay like it's okay if men cheat it's okay you could still be with them it's not a big deal you had two children with them so it's okay if he cheats just do what makes you happy which is right at the end of the day do what makes you happy but for you guys like a lot of girls like endless amount of girls because i was going through the comments i'm like this is insane that she's back with him right so many girls who were in the comments saying like it's okay like basically they're saying cheating is a part of a relationship and you go through struggles when cheating should not be a part of that struggle not at all so i, I had to talk to my sister i was like yo don't like follow these people in the comments like if you were weak-minded like just this is just in general to any girl if any girl watching that video and reading the comments were very weak-minded they would fall into that trap that unhealthy that toxic mindset that being cheated on is okay and a part of a relationship it's not it will never be okay like you read like hundreds of comments because there's so many comments in the comment section saying like it's fine that he cheated like it's okay like things happen he's still a good person even though he cheats i was had to tell my sister i'm like yo if god like listen if that ever happens to you yes do what makes you feel happy at the end of the day but don't ever feel like it's a part of a relationship like go on move on and find a different guy no matter if you have children with this guy no matter if you've known this guy for so long i've known i've had friends my whole entire life like my whole entire life i'm in my 20s now and i've stopped being friends with them i will never use because i know them for so long while i'm going to continue being friends with them so i was just saying like social media is so messed up like things that are not okay that are toxic that are unhealthy social media based on like the type of things that you look at on social media they'll you'll start thinking it's okay because there's so many people that are saying yeah 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 rooting for that thing that's not right that's unhealthy that's toxic right i know guys right now that are married and they're trying to be with me they want to be with me they're saying all these things and i'm like you're so disrespectful and rude to your wife i could never entertain a married man i could never even sit there cheating on someone that i'm with that's so horrible like if i'm even giving you the time of day as a guy that means I actually like you because I don't give guys time of day. I could care less. That's another thing that I wanted to talk about with how powerful our mind is. I know so many women, they go back to cheaters, to abusers because they say things like, oh, like I'm, I'm too old or I already have children with the guy. No other guy is going to want me. Oh, like I don't want to start over again. Oh, he's just a good guy. He just, his childhood is the reason why he did this or he's a good guy. Just, he made one mistake. Like, I don't, I don't like that stuff. Like people are capable of moving on like the comment section really blew me back first it was her that she's even back with him but i'm not even surprised like it, that's why i don't watch relationship channels i don't watch ca couple channels i don't engage in that stuff because number one a lot of couple channels on youtube are just fake and they do everything for pranked and it's all planned but the second thing is you'll find out what happened to the relationship like it's something like just like devastating or just horrible and then they end up getting back together and you're just like how why and why i'm not saying that anyone's perfect i'm not saying that i can't get cheated on of course i could and even if i do get cheated on it's what you do after that situation happens to you because i know for a fact it doesn't matter i can be with someone for all 20 years once i know that you cheat on me that means you don't value me and you don't care for me for you to do something like that. you don't respect me and i'll because of that i'll move on i just wanted to talk about that because like i was looking at the video in the comment section i'm like yo a, a girl a young girl a young girl who doesn't have anyone to guide her or just doesn't have anyone to tell her right from wrong will read this comment section and say you know what cheating is okay because there's hundreds like there's probably like over four or 500 comments in the comment section hundreds 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 of girls saying you know what it's okay if you cheated like i'm glad you guys are having a child together you deserve it oh my god i'm happy for you we know someone who thinks that having children in toxic and unhealthy relationships is going to save the marriage or it's going to save the relationship at the end of the day it never does i unsubscribed from her like months back after the whole incident of her her and her husband like breaking up because it was like she deleted all her videos like she just turned into a christian and she didn't want to do nothing with youtube and i'm like why am i watching you like your videos are boring and then only like last month i subscribed back to her because i'm like you know she's posting it again and her stuff doesn't seem too bad let me subscribe to her but once i found out like this morning when my sister um texted me everything i automatically unsubscribed from her because i'm like she's not setting a good example and yes she says this all the time on her channel that she isn't on a platform to showcase like to be a leader to anyone but that just happens when you have influence i just don't like the message that she's sending that she it's okay to get cheated on just be back because i just know there's so many good looking guys in this life in this world okay endless i don't care there's so many good looking guys for me to not even settle you don't have to be young to even take this advice older woman you can move on you're more worthy 
than a guy treating you less than this you can find a new guy you have to put in the work you have to if you want to meet a guy you have to ask your friends to introduce you to guys go out places like i don't like the message she's sending everyone in the comment section is just effed up like i don't even care like i was reading the comment section i'm like mm, i don't want to be part of this and then this is another thing that i told my sister too because i was just telling them i'm like be careful who you guys watch on youtube because there's some ratchet people that we watch like they're just ghetto but they're just so entertaining but then i even caught myself that i was doing some of the stuff they were doing or saying the stuff same things that they were doing and i was like no 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 no. i was like oh i had to like i had to unsubscribe from them because i'm like no nah, 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 i'm not gonna make that type of lifestyle normal for me i just told them like just be careful because they're 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 not the type of people that or their lifestyle is not the type of thing that you want to normalize well and that's what the power of social media does the power of media does you watch things so much start accepting it you start normalizing it and then that's why it's so important that people always talk about what you what you read listen to what you see who you're around with the things that you're just your environment really plays a big part on who you are as a person because that's what you're exposed to all the time yeah and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about that because i need to know your guys thoughts and opinions guys i'm with my sheet sometimes we have to chop like these bamboos here you're the chopping now it's a lot of work so sometimes i get my um i get my muscles from doing all that type of hard work i need to buy a new tripod anyways we're going up because i have a video to do right now Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi everyone. I'm here in forest taking pictures. Listen, let me tell you guys my little dilemma right now. So throughout the days, well throughout the week in forest, a lot of these bars are closed, okay? And now every single and I came here to take pictures because I'm like, oh these bars are always closed. Let me come here and take pictures. I will have people harass me. And then today I come and every single one of the bars that I wanted to take pictures, there's probably like three bars I wanted to, they're all open. And I think it's because it's a holiday, but I'm just like, you guys were never open. Trust me, I drive by, past Boris a lot, so I can tell you. So, this was like one of the only bars that are closed right now. So, I wanted to take pictures in front of it. The pictures are okay, they're not too bad, but I'm gonna go to another spot and take pictures. So, that's what we're gonna do with them now. Listen, I tried doing my own um, ponytail thing here, and this is just a whole mess, but no one's not gonna see it. Okay, guys, we're at the next location. We're in Boris still, actually. We're right at like the exit of Boris going back up into like um but like if you're going to like Mandeville way yeah up that way phone she was successful you guys go follow me on instagram at anisha.adam and make sure you guys like and comment on my pictures when you guys like and comment on my pictures when you guys like and comment on my videos when you guys like and comment or you even share my videos sharing actually does a lot you guys are actually making me get seen more by people which in return will boost my brand boost me getting more subscribers followers and then um i'll appreciate it if you guys do that Okay, and if you're not subscribed to me, make sure you guys are subscribed. Look at my hair. Look at my hair. Hey, I'm gonna wash my hair. Hey, I had these cane rolls in my hair for like two months. Hey. Mom, I'm gonna check for you. I'm gonna dye my hair. Really? Yeah. Do you want to see how I dye it? Are you coming with me? Yes. Okay, guys. So at Toto Gas Station, they opened up a new restaurant here. So it's right in here. So I'm gonna go and buy some food, test it out. So this is it. Okay, fry, rice, and... Wait, can you say the meats again over? Curry, garlic, fried chicken. I want fried chicken. Yeah. Chicken. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Yes. Easy. <laughs> Okay, I'm here guys. It's big and nice in here. I don't know why this little boy is following me everywhere. <gasps> Hold on. Hello? Yeah, so the only only plate thing with this place here, they only sell six hundred dollar foods. Oh I want bread. Bread. So it's big and nice in here. If you want fried rice, 
you guys can get it here because a lot of food shops don't sell fried rice in Smalling's at least and if they do it's like way more money I think okay so this is it I don't know if I'm gonna finish up all this right now but it's a lot so this is what I got rice and um, fried chicken and then he got fried chicken fried rice okay guys I'm at Metzford I'm picking up a package Okay, we're at, we're in Borbridge. We're at a place called Aisan Chiasaki of Bar. So it's right here. So it's right here. And these are caves. There's a lot of caves around here in Yantone. Even in Manchester, there's a lot. We're in St. Anne currently. So then you can go into it and stuff. Maybe I can come down here another day and show you guys. You guys just let me know and I can do that. You can go into that. But yeah, it's cute here. an area right before you reach Frankfield and look at this nice little waterfall that's behind me we're gonna go look at it some more it's so pretty I'm taking pictures here actually for Instagram I want to find out the actual name of this community and let you know I was driving by and I saw this that's really what I do to be honest hi what is this community called Watawa Chris Wata Chris okay Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, so um, they just told me that. What's it called? Um, they said the area is called Water Chris. I hope I heard them properly because the waterfalls are really loud. My depressed vlog when I was coming back from Frankfield, I saw this and I was like, I have to come back and take content here. So we're here. The water's so warm, it's so nice. I love it here. I'm gonna be back here. Ooh. 